What porn is doing to you? The porn problem in the Christian community. Let's face it. We live in a world where porn is just a click away. For many, it starts as a curiosity, an attempt to explore a world of intimacy that feels tantalizingly close yet so far. But what happens when this curiosity turns into something more? In the Christian community, where messages about purity and sexuality are often mixed, the impact can be profound and painful. A. A false escape. Porn can feel like a quick escape from the pressures of everyday life, a moment of thrill without the complexities of real relationships. It offers a sense of control, where you can indulge in fantasy without emotional involvement. Yet, this fleeting satisfaction leads you away from the deeper connections your soul craves. In the Christian context, we are called to love and be loved, to engage in relationships that reflect God's divine design for intimacy. Porn, however, distorts this purpose, pulling you into a world of superficial pleasure and away from genuine Christ-centered relationships. B. Spiritual Battle and Addiction Pornography addiction is not just a psychological issue, it is a spiritual battle. As Christians, we believe our lives are shaped by more than our physical actions. We are engaged in a cosmic struggle between good and evil. Porn often feeds into a culture of lust, isolation, and disconnection from God's design for intimacy. It opens the door to spiritual forces and demons like the spirits of lust, shame, and deception. The spirit of lust fuels a fixation on physical gratification, distorting the natural longing for love and intimacy. The spirit of shame thrives in secrecy, isolating individuals and making them feel too embarrassed or unworthy to seek help. Deceptive spirits whisper lies that you're beyond redemption or that this sin defines who you are. This spiritual battle creates a disconnect between your body and soul. The more you engage with pornography, the more desensitized you become, not just to the sacredness of intimacy, but also to God's voice and presence in your life. The result? A growing numbness that distances you from your Creator and from experiencing the fullness of His love. Porn is changing you. C. Eroding relationships and community. Pornography doesn't just impact you, it affects your relationships and your role in the Christian community. Whether you're single or married, porn distorts your view of sex, turning it into a selfish act rather than an expression of love and commitment. Single individuals may struggle with unrealistic expectations of relationships, leading them to view love as transactional and lacking the emotional and spiritual depth God intended. For those who are married, the consequences can be devastating. Porn introduces betrayal into the marriage covenant. Jesus said in Matthew 5, 28, But I tell you that anyone who looks at a woman lustfully has already committed adultery with her in his heart. Even if there's no physical affair, porn becomes spiritual adultery, damaging trust, emotional intimacy, and the sacred bond between spouses. In the Christian community, the issue often remains hidden in shame, weakening the body as a whole. Many believers suffer silently, afraid of judgment and rejection. This secrecy creates a cycle of addiction and isolation, preventing individuals from experiencing the healing that comes through confession and accountability. When we fail to address porn openly in our churches, we allow it to fester, leading to broken marriages, fractured ministries, and a community weakened by hidden sin. D. The Psychological and Physical Impact From a psychological perspective, the impact of pornography is profound. Research shows that regular consumption of porn can rewire the brain's reward system, much like addictive substances. The brain releases dopamine, a chemical associated with pleasure when consuming porn, which over time leads to a need for more extreme content to feel the same satisfaction. It will keep getting extreme until it leads to cases of physical harm. This cycle can lead to addiction, where individuals are trapped in a relentless search for novelty. Psychologically, this addiction fosters unrealistic expectations around sex and relationships. 
individuals begin to compare their partners to the images they see, leading to dissatisfaction and anxiety. Instead of enjoying real intimacy, they feel pressured to perform or behave in ways that mimic what they've seen in porn. This dissonance creates a rift between desires and reality, fueling feelings of inadequacy and frustration. Medically, excessive pornography consumption can have tangible effects such as erectile dysfunction, especially in younger men. The brain, conditioned by the constant novelty of porn, may struggle to respond to real-life intimacy, leading to performance anxiety and further reliance on pornography for gratification. This vicious cycle can destroy sexual and emotional intimacy within relationships. E. Porn and spiritual alienation. One of the most dangerous effects of pornography is how it distances you from God. The Bible reminds us in 1 Corinthians 6.19, Do you not know that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit? When you engage in porn, you grieve the Holy Spirit within you. The shame and guilt that follow create a chasm between you and God. You begin to feel unworthy of grace, hesitant to pray or worship, and slowly drift away from the spiritual intimacy God desires with you. This alienation is exactly what the enemy wants, to keep you trapped in a cycle of shame and sin, feeling distant from God's forgiveness. Satan uses pornography as a tool to dull your spiritual senses and numb your connection to God's truth. Over time, this spiritual deadening leads to a deeper crisis of identity, where you forget who you are, a beloved child of God, redeemed by grace and called to live in holiness. F. The impact on the Christian community. Pornography is not just a private problem. It's a community-wide issue. The Christian community is supposed to be a place of purity, love, and encouragement in our walk with Christ. But when members are silently struggling with sin, it weakens the body as a whole. It's like a wound that goes untreated, festering beneath the surface until it becomes too painful to ignore. The church has often been slow to address the porn problem, either out of discomfort or denial. But the truth is, we cannot afford to remain silent. Many men and women in the church, including pastors and leaders, are battling this issue. If we don't bring it into the light, we will continue to see broken marriages, shattered ministries, and lost opportunities for spiritual growth. G. Hope and Redemption in Christ But there is hope. Even in the midst of the shame, guilt, and addiction, God's grace is greater. 1 John 1.9 declares, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. No matter how far you've fallen or how long you've struggled, there is always a path back to healing and freedom. Confessing the sin and then renouncing. Victory over porn begins with bringing your sin into the light. Seek out trusted believers who will support you in prayer and accountability. Turn to God's word to renew your mind and heart. Remember, the battle against porn is not yours alone. God fights with you, offering his strength, grace, and a way out of temptation. 1 Corinthians 10.13 H. Breaking free. Finding freedom from pornography addiction is possible, but it requires both intentional spiritual work and practical action. While the struggle may feel overwhelming, taking consistent steps toward healing can lead to real transformation. Here's how. 1. Prayer and reflection. This step requires complete honesty before God. Don't pretend before the one who knows all things. The journey begins with an honest conversation with God. Many times we hesitate to bring our deepest struggles to God, especially when they involve shame. But freedom begins when we stop hiding and start acknowledging the issue. He who covers his sin shall not prosper. How to start. Set aside quiet moments where you can be completely honest with God in prayer. Tell him about your struggle without holding back. Don't get tired of doing this as many times as you need to because God is not tired of you. Acknowledge the temptation, the guilt, the pain, and ask for his help. It's important to also pray for clarity. 
clarity to see the depth of the issue, and clarity to recognize God's truth amid the confusion. What to expect? Through prayer, you may feel a deepening awareness of God's presence and His unwavering support. Embrace it. Be patient. Some days, the struggle will feel heavier than others, but consistent prayer anchors you in the truth that God's strength is greater than your weakness. 2. Scripture as a Guide Pornography addiction thrives on lies. Lies about your worth, relationships, and what love should look like. The Bible is a source of truth that can combat these falsehoods. Scriptures remind you of your identity in Christ, your value, and the power you have through Him to overcome any temptation. Key scriptures include 1 Corinthians 6, 19-20, reminds you that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit and should be honored. Psalm 51, 10, David's plea for a pure heart can be your daily prayer. Romans 12, 2, speaks about the renewing of the mind which is crucial in overcoming the mental patterns that fuel addiction. How to apply? Meditate on these verses daily. Write them down, carry them with you, or use them as reminders whenever temptation arises. The goal is to replace the mental pathways porn has created with the truth of Scripture. As you immerse yourself in God's Word, the Holy Spirit renews your mind, changing your desires and outlook. 3. Community Support one of the hardest steps in breaking free from pornography is bringing the issue to light. But the power of addiction weakens significantly when you stop struggling in silence. Opening up to others removes the mask of shame and invites accountability into your life. What to do? Join a small group or a recovery-focused support group, or confide in a trusted mentor or pastor. This can be a very hard step, but secrecy will not help. These individuals or groups provide a safe space for you to be open and receive encouragement. They can also hold you accountable, asking you about your progress, praying for you, and walking with you through setbacks. Why it works. Pornography thrives in isolation. When you bring it into the light by sharing it with others, you begin to break the cycle of secrecy. The Bible says in James 5.16, Confess your sins to one another and pray for each other so that you may be healed. Healing comes in community, not isolation. 4. Renouncing unhealthy spirits. This is the part of spiritual warfare. For Christians, overcoming addiction is not only a physical or mental battle, it's also a spiritual one. Pornography can be influenced by spirits of lust, shame, and deception. Renouncing these spirits in prayer is a powerful step toward freedom. How to Renounce During prayer, verbally renounce any spirit of lust, shame, or deception and the sin. Speak out with authority, mentioning the spirits and sins by name, declaring that these spirits no longer have a hold over you because you belong to Christ. Follow this by inviting the Holy Spirit to fill that space in your life with truth, love, and freedom. When you are done, it is important to remain silent and incredibly still. The silence and stillness is very important. It is not the time to be distracted no matter what happens around you. What to expect? This act of renunciation is a declaration of spiritual warfare. You may feel like throwing up or spitting or losing breath or choking. Do it all where you are. It's important to continue praying for protection and asking God to renew your thoughts and desires. The Holy Spirit equips you with the strength to resist the enemy's lies and temptations. 5. Pursuing healthy intimacy. Pornography creates a false version of intimacy, one that is shallow, disconnected, and self-serving. To fully heal, you need to replace this counterfeit intimacy with real, meaningful connections that bring joy, trust, and fulfillment. What to do? Engage in relationships that are healthy and life-giving. Focus on friendships, family connections, or if you're married, rebuild the intimacy with your spouse through open communication, vulnerability, and time spent together. Seek out activities that promote community. 
whether it's through church groups and departments, hobbies, or serving others. Why it's important. Real intimacy requires vulnerability and selflessness, whereas pornography teaches selfish gratification. By investing in authentic relationships, you train your mind and heart to experience love and connection as God intended. Six, embracing God's grace. The path to healing from pornography addiction is rarely a straight line, but God's grace covers every step of the journey. It's easy to feel discouraged by setbacks, relapse, or failures, but it's important to remember that healing is a process. God's grace is abundant, and His love for you is unchanging, no matter how many times you've stumbled. What to do? Keep going. When you fall, don't let shame pull you back into isolation. Turn back to God immediately. Confess, renounce, and keep moving forward. His grace is a constant invitation to stand back up, no matter how far you feel you've strayed. Why it's important. The enemy wants you to believe that you're beyond redemption, but God's grace says otherwise. There is nothing that can separate you from the love of God. Romans 8, 38-39 Remember that His grace is not just a one-time gift, but a daily source of strength. Breaking free from pornography is possible, but it requires intentional action, both spiritually and practically. Begin with prayer and honesty before God, turn to Scripture for truth, and seek support from trusted people who will walk with you through the journey. Remember, this is a spiritual battle, so renounce the unhealthy spirits that may be influencing you and pursue real, healthy intimacy in your relationships. Above all, rest in God's grace. His love for you is greater than any sin, and He is ready to guide you into a life of freedom and healing. Conclusion Porn may be just a click away, but the damage it does runs deep, eroding your soul, relationships, and spiritual connection with God. For Christians, it represents not just a personal struggle, but a spiritual battle that affects the entire community. Yet, the message of hope is clear. Through Christ, freedom is possible. You are not alone in this battle. Reach out, confess, renounce, and let God's grace bring healing and restoration. In Christ, there is victory, healing, and the promise of new life. Free from the chains of pornography, and filled with His love and purpose. Heavenly Father, we come before You in faith, acknowledging Your boundless power and love. Lord, we lift up every person struggling with the chains of pornography addiction. We know that nothing is too great for You, and in Your name freedom is possible. Father, in the name of Jesus, we declare that the spirit of lust, shame, and deception must be broken in the lives of your children. We renounce any unhealthy influences that have taken root and bind these forces in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, by the authority given to us through Christ, we declare deliverance over each person. May they be set free from the bondage of addiction and all its chains. Lord, we pray for a renewal of the mind for hearts that crave your truth and purity. Replace the counterfeit satisfaction of pornography with the fullness of your love, joy, and peace. Renew their thoughts and desires, O God. Help them to see themselves as your beloved, fearfully and wonderfully made, worthy of true intimacy. We ask that you would surround each person with a community of support with people who will speak life and accountability into their journey. Give them the courage to seek help and to walk this path of healing in the light, where shame no longer has any hold. Most importantly, Father, we ask for the overflow of your grace. Remind them that no sin is beyond the reach of your love. Help them to walk in the confidence that they are forgiven, redeemed, and made new in Christ. Strengthen them daily by your Spirit and give them the perseverance to fight this battle with courage, trusting in your mighty hand. We declare victory in Jesus' name, knowing that you are with them, fighting for them, and leading them to freedom. In the powerful name of Jesus we pray, amen.